America's Most Wanted is brought to you by Ivory Lake. 1949, America's Great Gold Rush. As desperate men poured in, saloons, gambling joints, and houses of ill repute followed in their wake, giving the area a reputation as a haven for outlaws. And today, in certain parts of what is now California's El Dorado County, times haven't changed all that much. There is still a degree of, of lawlessness up in this north part of the county, uh, primarily due to uh, the, the lack of law enforcement up here. We have, we have one patrol officer that's responsible for this entire area, which is about 400 square miles. That's not much law for an area that still attracts its share of desperate men. Like the 49ers of old, when Matt Dewar first arrived, he tried his hand at gold mining. When that didn't pan out, Dewar became a fixture in the Georgetown bars. I would characterize Matt Dewar as a lawless type individual, uh, a person who may pattern himself after, uh, after an old West type figure out here. Matt Dewar pretty much, uh, uh, for what we know, did what he wanted to do up here. Mike Morgan was another modern day pioneer in El Dorado County. Friends say he came up north to try and kick a drug and alcohol problem. He lived with his girlfriend and did some odd jobs. It seemed like Mike was getting his life together. Hey, I'm stopping off in Georgetown after I finish the job. I won't be late. Too late. OK, honey. He was a beautiful person, really. And most of the people that knew him, that he worked for in this community, loved him also. <laughs> but friends say Mike drifted toward the rough element that hung out in the Georgetown bar. And among this group was Matt Dewar. That's my knife, man. World War II. A long time ago. It's an antique. My old man gave it to me. Look, I'm late. Still want a ride? Yeah, man. You gonna be okay, man? Yeah. Mike dropped Dewar off at a Main Street bar. As it happens, the El Dorado County Deputy Sheriff was parked around the corner. Hi there, Terry. I look a little drunk. Yeah, what up? Turn around and give me some cap for Oh, concealed weapon. I'm going to have to confiscate it and take you in. Matt blamed Mike Morgan for that arrest and the knife being taken by our officers. Damn you, Mike Morgan! You shut me up! I tell him you're crazy. Crazy. Well, if it's not old rat. Hey, guys. You owe me, man, big time. You gave me up. They took my knife. Hey, I didn't turn you in, Matt. I had nothing to do with it. I just watched my back if I were you. What's that supposed to mean? Whenever he would come into town, there was always a confrontation. He was the only person that Michael ever feared. What's wrong? No. 
Come on. I know you. It's Matt Dewar. No matter what I tell him, he's not letting it go. So he has a grudge. What are you afraid of? It's not like you. I'm not scared of much. But Cass, there's something about that guy. He said, this is the only way I can describe him to you, Cass. He's not a dog that just wants to bite you. He wants to eat you alive. When Dewar headed north to Oregon, Mike hoped that that would put an end to the bad blood. But in late September 1992, Dewar returned to Georgetown. Well, if it isn't the rat days. Hey, I told you, Matt, I had nothing to do with your knife getting taken. That was a historical knife, man. That's a hundred bucks right there. And I want 30 bucks for bus fare back to Oregon. You got it wrong. I had nothing to do with it. I won my money. Come on, guys, take it. Here's five dollars, okay? It's all I got. Mike owes me, man. And I'm going over to this place and get me something worth some money. You're gonna try. September 27th. Deputies say Dewar, armed with a 32 revolver, headed for Mike's house with his friend, Jerry Olecki. Mike's girlfriend wasn't home. He was sacked out on the couch in his sleeping bag. I was pregnant at the time that we were living together, and um, I was pregnant at the time that he was killed. He never got to see his son. This whole murder is over this knife, which Matthew Dewar says is $100. I don't know what it's worth. It's not worth $100 to me. But Mike Morgan was killed over it. We have Matt Dewar's knife right here tonight. Maybe you can give Dewar a chance to see his knife again at his murder trial. Now take a good look at the clues. Deputies say they know Dewar was in Cave Junction, Oregon until November 1992, but his trail ends there. Dewar has worked as a carpenter, a logger, a miner, and he's also picked mushrooms. This 1986 photo shows Dewar with shorter hair and no mustache. Dewar is so devoted to Harley Davidson motorcycles he tattooed a Harley Eagle like this one on his right bicep. If you know where Matthew Gerard Dewar is hiding tonight, give us a call right now at 1-800-CRIME-93.